follow the adventures of Wibbly. Ta-da! The curious pig who loves having fun. <laughs> it's me! While exploring the world. Hey! That's too far! <laughs> One, two, three. Got you! Look! I've got a flower! Bye! Bye, Wibbly! Wibbly Pig, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. It's the word on the street. It makes me feel so neat. It gets me hot inside. Skatune, why don't you take me for a ride? Sound real sweet to me. It's crazy what you do. show where kids and tunes compete for prizes. Now please clap, scream, and cheer so your quiz host can hear it's Chat Shatters! Hey! And the Owl! Hey! Hey, folks! Has anyone seen my glasses? Oh, hey! <laughs> Ta-da! Hey, what do you say, Earl? I say we meet today's contestants. Yeah! Say hello to Melissa, Lashana, Stephanie, Gore, Nesta, and Headley Diddly D. Thanks, Earl. And today we'll all be quizzing it out to win an absolutely super duper day. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Cut it out, Headley. You're just a contestant, yes? I'm the host of Skatoon. Ugh, but you're a terrible host, Judders. Terrible. <gasps> what? I could host wee perfect circles around you any day. Right, orange shirt? Oh. Correct. Time's out. Ugh. No point for Chudders. Normally I have a thing for ginger-haired honeys, but you, you're way out of line. <laughs> Say, that was easy! What are you? Some kind of extra thick, thick person from Thickensville? Or maybe I've got mm, to... Guys got spun. <laughs> and I'd make up my own brilliant questions like what's my What a ding bad. Ooh. Nice comeback, Headley. Now listen up, Bean Feed, while I run through the Skatoni gameplay. All you gotta do is stay in the game through three rapid fire rounds. We're gonna knock two of you out at the end of round one, then drop the second pair of losers at the end of round two. That'll leave two contestants battling it out to see who goes through to the Skatoni Quiz Champ Challenge. What do they win, Earl? A fantastic iPod. So let's cut straight to the quizzing and play. Time out, time out, stop the play. Charles, we're just about to start the quiz. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I own the quiz, so I say what the score is. Got it? Oh, oh, oh uh, right, Charles. And I say it's time for some teeny-weeny changes. Chud, your job as quiz show host is up for grabs again. What? You mean I've got to do another stupid audition? <laughs> Not exactly, shrimp salad. of Skatuni will be decided by gladiatorial combat. <laughs> I love it. No fair. Why can't I compete to be the new host? I'll tell you why. Because you're rude, self-centered, and you have the personality of a runny nose. Oh, snap. <laughs> well, I'll show you. I'll show you all. Oh, I've got to get a better view of this. Once the round starts, you'll all be fighting to quiz those contestants. What? But I'm a quizzer, not a fighter. <laughs> and to find my new host, I'll be looking for speedy reactions, stamina, and mindlessly agreeing with every word I say. Is that clear? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, Earl. Yeah? You'll watch with me in the diamond section as these brainiacs play... Bang on or bogus! Here's the skinny on bang on or bogus. The auditioning host will read out a load of statements. Some are bang on true, but some are false. Bogusly false! All you've got to do is to decide which is which. Bash your buzzer and shout bang on for true. Now, let me hear you now. Bang on! All right! And then give me a big bogus! 
bogus or false? Bogus! Nice! Since Hedley's already gone, we'll only lose the single lowest scoring player. Everybody set? Me, 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 me! Woo, woo, woo! Mm. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers! Will you stop that? Stop what, you wee ninny? Being you? You have until Charles's head stops shaking. Huh? Good luck, Chud Buddy. Let's roll! An asteroid is a rocky object orbiting the sun. Lashana? That is bang on! That's correct, Lashana! Hey, that's my job, you cheap imposter! Huh, go sit on a phone book, Shorty! <laughs> Out of my way, boys! Boy, how dare you! from Ben 10 gains the power from his own matrix to change into many different alien heroes. Yes, Nesta? Bang on. <laughs> okay, if you wrote down all of Santa's reindeer in alphabetical order, Rudolph would be last. <laughs> Stephanie? Bogus. Correct! Vixen is the last reindeer. Okay, in one year, a maple tree can only produce two bottles of maple syrup. Stephanie? Bang on. Yes, indeed! A baker did it! <laughs> okay, here we go at last. A baker's dozen is 13. Lashana, what do you say? I say that is bang on. You let me know if you need any help in there, because I'm on Team Cheddar's. Yeah. <laughs> hot chocolate has been around for over 2,000 years. Nesta? Bogus. Incorrect. <laughs> Next, before the Wright brothers invented the airplane, they had a bicycle repair shop. You, the kid up there. Bogus. No, it's bang on. Ah, what? Hey, what the? Bang on a bogus. There are two different types of blood cells, red and white. Gore? Bang on. Correct. Bumblebees were a good luck symbol in ancient Rome. Melissa? Bogus. No, it's bang on! Yoga is an Olympic sport. Nesta? Bogus. Correct! That is bogus! The Chinese New Year usually happens in the summer. You with the set. Bogus. Correct! A school teacher was the first person to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel and survive. Gore? Bang on. Correct! People who live at the bottom of the Grand Canyon get their mail delivered by mule. Lashana? What? I don't believe that for a second. Psst, bogus. <laughs> well, believe it, because it's bang on. <laughs> and that's the end of the round. <laughs> <laughs> I've made my choice. Headley, you're a pompous loudmouth and a dirty player. You're hired! <gasps> Jumpers, you're out of here! Say what? People, tell us what you think. <laughs> I see. And Lashana, was Chud Chud is any better at quizzing? Chud is the king of quiz. He's polite, well-dressed, and he remembers our names. Go <laughs> Team Chudders! See, Charles, looks like Chud is the people's choice. I am truly touched. Thank you. And as the choice of you, the contestants, it's my sad duty to say, Melissa, thanks for playing. But with the lowest score of the round, you are out of the game. I wish you could stay, though. But we've got to tell you, Earl. Thanks for playing, but you're out of here. here. You gave it a go, but you're, you're out of here. here. Yeah. Don't hang around town. You're To this show. But it is the end of round one. So, before we take this crazy train any further, let's take a break. Stay tuned, cats at home, because it's going to be Battle Central in more ways than one when we come back on... We're a big, happy bug family. Experience the wonders that nature has to offer. She's going to turn into a butterfly? Beautiful. Oh. Be curious. Rainbow. That's pretty. Imagine it. <laughs> and learn life lessons. All for bugs. And bugs for all. <laughs> Miss Spider, Sunny Batch Friends. Here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. 
Welcome back. You're just in time because the competition for the Skatoonie host is coming to a boil. Yeah. I told you it wasn't over. Oh, goody, goody. I knew Mr. Lepuck would want me back. Because I've got crazy skills at the host and right orange shirt. Oh, Hedley. You've got crazy skills at being crazy. That's the truth. So, Chudders, Hedley, you beat the other contenders, but now in round two, you gotta take turns asking the questions while battling the most dangerous beasts known to man. A lion? A bear? And a shark! Of course, I feel it's only fair to provide some protection. You okay over there, Headley? Ooh, aye. Thanks very much, Mr. Best Boss Ever. Hey, don't I get any protection? Sure you do. Ah, that should fend them off. Cheers to you, Chudders. That just ain't right. Now it's time for the Sing Sound Name Round. Now, you've all got three flaps in front of you, and each flap's got a picture of either bees, cheese, or fleas. See? The answer to each question you're asked will correspond to one of those flaps. So when you know the answer, hit the buzzer and pull up your pick. Get it right and grab one point. The two highest scores move on up. The other two move on out of here. The round ends when... You sure about this? Yep. There is one quiz show host left. <gasps> Let the quiz begin! Spilling contests are also called bees. Nestor. Bees. Right? Names of these include workers, drones, and queens. Lashana. Is it please? Sorry, no, it's bees. This can be made from dairy, rice, or soy. Stephanie. Cheese. Hey, well, you couldn't have gone wrong there, really. <laughs> A nice kitty cat. Dogs and cats often wear collars to protect themselves from these. Stephanie. Please. Correct! Well done! <laughs> Wallace from Wallace and Gromit loves this! Nestor! Cheese. Hey, that'll do. These share a name with the second letter in the alphabet. Stephanie. Um, uh, these. Correct! These can jump 200 times their own body length! Ouch! You boy, answer me! Please. Yes! The French word for this is fromage. Cool. At this stage, I would calculate cheese. Yes, that is correct. These are types of markets where vintage or secondhand objects are sold. Lashana, please. Correct. Oh yes, well done, I suppose. Twelve. Oh look, it looks like it's game over for Chudders. <laughs> Finish him. Gentle? Of course we'll be gentle. Huh? It's my favorite chair. <laughs> Ugh, you lucky so-and-so. Oh, you scratched it, Rufus. Oh, sorry. You have to take better care of other bears' chairs. Sorry. Apology accepted. You have a nice day now. Great work, Chad. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. He's gone! I'll win! Your new Skatuni host is me, Headley Diddly D! <laughs> Anyone but Chubbers is fine by me. And now for my favorite bit of hosting kicking people off the show. Gore, Lashana, you are both going away. No, it's you're out of here. Not anymore! Hit it! You are both rubbish and you're going away, away, away! Charge now, and you're going away. Right, that's it. I can do that any time. Behave. Well, that's the end of round two. But keep your feet on the floor, because we'll be back for more. After the break, Stephanie and Nestor are going to battle it out to take on the Skatoni Quiz Champ Challenge. See you soon, I hope. On <laughs> Tony Blubber Breaths, Stephanie and Nestor are into the final round to see who will compete in the Scatoni Quiz Champ Challenge. <laughs> hey, Daylight! Come on, little buddy, you've got to go and fight for your right to quiz. No, Headley beat me. I'm just no, no, no good.
good. You've got to get back in the game, Chud. Look, Headley's out of control. Orange shut. Repeat after me. Headless diddly D is the host with the most scatuni. Two plus two is three. We talk very weird, like weird beyond weird. <laughs> Where's me throne? What is he doing? He's got quiz dementia. No, bark like little doggies, or I'll keep the prize for myself. Huh? <laughs> oh boy, bark like dogs. Where's my throne? Hey, Chubbers, get rid of this clown, and you got your job back. Great, but uh, how do I do that? Try this. Hey, Henley. Is that Chubbers? Yep. And you know your dream of hosting Skatoni? Aye. Well, it's about to go. No! Where did Headley go? I think he's about to land in the hot seat. There you go. Good as new. <laughs> oh, it was broken before I got here. It's time for me to get back to work. Now let's get to some serious quizzing with... Danger Box! Okay, here's how we play. I'm gonna ask you some general knowledge questions. All you have to do is buzz in and answer them. But you can't answer until you've eaten the contents of one of the boxes in front of you. Headley chose the food, so I don't know what's there. But we don't call it Danger Box for nothing. Exactly. So at the end of this game, the one with the highest score will get to play in the Skatoni Quiz Champ Challenge. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm scared though now. <laughs> Pretty scared as well. But excited. Well then, let's play. You have as long as it takes Bigfoot over there Boy. to get a new hip hairdo. <laughs> I want to look like Earl. Oh, yeah. And we're off. Which planet is closest to the Earth? Chow down, Stephanie! You're lucky! Pickled egg! <laughs> Not too bad! Oh, Mars? Incorrect! It's Venus! How was the egg? Disgusting. The primary colors are red, blue, and what? Nesta, pick a box! Ooh, fixed! Dates, actually. Where's the danger in these foods, Headley? It's all I had in my fridge! Don't shop till Sunday! Green. Incorrect! It's yellow! Yellow is a primary color. Who is the most famous female student in Gryffindor House? Stephanie, what have you got there? Lemon? It's a lime, actually! A lime, Headley? Lime? What if I told you it was an exploring lime? Then I tell you you're the worst quiz show host ever! Hermione? Correct! Which game has playing pieces shaped like a hat, a dog, and an iron? Nesta, what's in the box? A lime. What's next, Headley? Danger cherries? What's your answer, Nesta? Uh, Monopoly. Correct! What color is Superman's cape? Nesta? Oh, no. Finally, something that concerns you. Pickled eggs! I don't understand. Stephanie loved them. <laughs> Tastes like egg salad, so I guess it's okay. See? Not so bad. What's your answer? Red. Correct! Where would you find... Nice, yo. Do I look like Earl? I think I look like you, Bigfooty. And I think you're out of time. Okay, Stephanie and Nesta, you two played so well, and we'd love to let you both go through. But we can. So I'm afraid we're going to have to say goodbye to... Stephanie! Yeah! Sorry, Stephanie. You were great. But now... You're out of here! Gee, it's good to be back, Earl. I don't think I could be more excited. So we'll take a little breather, but stick around, Curly Cues, because we have to see if Nesta becomes the Supreme Quiz Champ on... Welcome back to Skatoni 
Hey, Bumble Butts! It's been a blockbuster espionage thriller of a show, and it's only gonna get thrillier with... Biscuit Judy Quiz Champ Challenge! Mister, you've done so well to get here, whizzing through lions and bears and crazy hosts, oh my! Now you have just 90 seconds to answer 10 questions correctly. If you can do it, then you become a Skatoni Quiz Champion! Are you confident? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. Great! Now, if you don't know the answer to a question, just shout something silly and I'll move right on. Good luck, Nesta! Start the clock! What kind of factory does Willy Wonka run? Chocolate factory. Correct! What statue can be found on an island outside New York City? Uh, Statue of Liberty. Correct! What shape is the base of a pyramid? Tri uh, square. Correct! What part of a great white shark is white? Uh, bottom. Correct! Which is longer, a mile or a kilometer? Mile. Correct! What flower is commonly associated with Holland? Black. Incorrect! It's tulips! What color is an emerald? Green. Correct! What animal does Alice follow into Wonderland? Black. It was a rabbit! Your mom's sister's children are your what? Cousins. Correct! Stop the clock! Nesta, halfway through the 90-second Quiz Champ Challenge, you have seven points! So listen up for the sweet sounds of Earl's Halfway Deal! Hey there, Nesta! You're doing pretty well, right? Yeah. So far, you've got seven points. With 45 seconds to go, I'm willing to offer you one more point to bring you up to eight. But then I'd have to take 10 precious seconds away, leaving you with 35 seconds to get two points. Okay. So what do you want to do, Nesta? Ready to go with 45. Wow, so no deal. No deal? That kid's got a brave heart. A brave, brave heart. What do you say, Earl? Let's play! What food makes you cry when you chop it? Onions. Correct! In what month is Halloween? October. Correct! What has more steps, an escalator or an elevator? Escalator. Correct! Yeah! <laughs> All right, mister! With ten correct answers and plenty of time left on the clock, you are our Skatoni champion! Oh, yeah. And a big thanks to our other contestants, except for Headley. I could have had it all! You'll never work in this town again, Headley! That's it for this week, but don't forget to get back on board next week for more buzzing, bashing, and mad, bad behavior. He's the Earl, and I've been Chud Chudders, the only host thin enough for the quick-witted chaos of...